It is time for sports. Time to bring in Mike Cosi. Morning, Mike. Good morning. How is Florida? Beautiful. Of course, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful all the time. I used to go down there for the entire month of April. Uh, I used to fly there every other month, every other weekend when People's Express was in business. Yeah, no, I uh, I used to take the month of April off and go to Florida. That's that stopped when we started the radio station. <laughs> That's when I worked for somebody else and I had to cure four weeks of vacation. I figured yeah, an airline had real good fares, and I bought up four four trips. So trip one is over, three more to go. Yeah, well, uh, People's Express. When I moved to Maine, I, were, I lived in Maine for one year. God, that yeah, was. They used to fly to Portland. Yeah, I used to hate living in Maine. But the great thing about living in Maine, I'd get on a 707 at Bradley International Airport. $19? <laughs> and I'd land in Portland about 25 minutes later and I'd, <laughs> I'd rent a car for uh, uh, and that's the way I, was, I used to come back home every weekend uh, to Connecticut to visit my mother because at, at, at 38 bucks a week to go back and forth you and and it was just a, a great a great thing. But the major airlines put People's Express out of business. Uh, $78 round trip to West Palm Beach. Yeah, it was it was an amazing. And th- when you took it, did they, did they roll up and down the aisle uh, collecting yeah, the cash? Yeah, with the cart, and you <laughs> paid on, on the thing. <laughs> That's right. You came in, you sat wherever you wanted. They gave you a sticker. You sat down. <laughs> then they came down, and you paid. That's exactly right. It was, it was just like being on a, on a bus. But I'll, t- I'll never forget when I made my first reservation. Uh, they, and she said, "Okay, that that that's going to be a round trip thirty eight dollars." I said to her, thirty eight dollars is is this a prop plane?" She goes, "No, it's a jet." <laughs> oh, it was the best, man. Yeah, it really it was, was. I used to tell my parents I was going down to shore for the weekend and go to Florida. Yeah, no, it uh, unbelievable. It was. It was uh, it, uh, he, uh, Freddie Laker did that in England as well. Right, yeah, I mean, he yep. just made he made airfare possible for everybody i mean you I, I forget you could fly coast to coast on people's express and i think it was like round trip uh 200 and some odd dollars i was less than that i think it was like 138 yeah, it was something crazy like it was 69 dollars to los angeles yeah, it was something really crazy uh and of course there was no advanced reservations you got there and if you got there in time, you got on the plane if you didn't well you you didn't but that uh well my wife used to do she used to get on the plane and roll the dice because a lot of times they'd ask you to get off. That's right. They'd ask, they you. ask you to get off. They'd give you a free trip. Not that it was expensive, but she used to do that. She used to, she used to do the same thing. She, she head down the shore and stop at Newark Airport and go on People's Express, and she either wound up in Fort Lauderdale or Belmar, depending on if she got off the plane or not. Yeah, no, it's a, yeah, you, you, you could, they would offer you, a, you're exactly right, all those things. Back in the good old days of flying. Okay. Back when things were good. Yeah. All right. Well, thinking about back when things were good, it, things were not good last night uh, for the New England Patriots. Is, they stink. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if Bill Belichick wasn't their coach, they'd probably have two wins. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, I mean, Fig I, Newton stinks. I did not stay up for it, but it, uh, I saw the highlights this morning, and it was not pretty. He's his own best press agent. How many rushing touchdowns does he have? Probably, five, Probably as yeah. many as Bobby Douglas used to have. Remember Bobby Douglas used to play for the Bears? Yeah. He stunk. So does Fig Newton. Well, anyways, uh, let's see here. What else do we have to talk about? I guess we can talk about the uh, the upcoming schedule this weekend. Why not? We have to make our picks, so we'll make a pick. They're pretty easy this weekend. There's three games on there that are pretty easy. Actually, four, I think. I'll tell you the fourth one. I don't have it as one of my picks, but I'll tell you the fourth one. You can go first. All right, uh, I will go first, and I will, uh, I will, I will, I will start off uh, taking Seattle over the Jets. That's one. Uh, I'm going to take. Oh, let's see here. Pum 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 pum. Let's see here. New Orleans over Philadelphia. That's two. Yeah, and I am going to take. Green Bay over Detroit. That's three. <laughs> Told you. There's three easy ones. You got the same ones I got. Seattle, Green Bay, New Orleans. The other one, I think, too, is Buffalo over Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh was exposed last week against Washington as being a fake team. And people would say, oh, they're all over it or no. Good. They were 11 or all against the Sisters of Mercy. And, they were... and, and Washington exposed it. Now they're playing Buffalo. I think Buffalo beats them up. 
And and here's the one thing that the Redskins at five and seven and the Giants at five and seven, it's taken them a while to get there, and it's still a lousy division, and they're not good teams. But both their defenses over the past four weeks have been playing incredible against the run. Uh, and what happened against Pittsburgh, Washington's defense also, their secondary. Pittsburgh can't run the ball. Yeah, they can't they run can't the ball. They can't run it. They could, they could play uh... – East Westchester High School. They can't run the ball. So, so what? 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 Washington did was load up <clears throat> in the mid range and the linebackers and the middle linebackers, and really took any passing away that was going to be possible. And they still had a, a front four, a front three that that put pressure on on, on Rossler. So it, they may not score a touchdown against Buffalo. Yeah, it's gonna. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. They might really get a, a give me layup at the end of the game when they're losing by about twenty eight. I, this game's going to be a, a, a very mismatched game. And I think Cleveland Monday night, too, against Baltimore. Baltimore has been exposed as a fake. They know how to beat Jackson now, and, and Cleveland's going to beat Baltimore. Baltimore's not going to make the playoffs this year. Well, the whole thing with a, with a, with a, great, with a great running quarterback who's got a powerful arm, if you, if you can keep him from getting to the outside – uh, and then you once again you clog the middle. Uh, he's got nothing to do but throw. And well, yeah, and he can't throw. When yeah. you got a good, when you got a quarterback that can do nothing but run, you put eight in a box and say throw the ball, beat me. And he can't do it. Jackson can't beat you throwing. How about this? Uh, I've been, I've I've been a big fan of Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals for a long, long time. Uh, he's a good player. I, oh, he's a good player. I always wanted him on the Giants. Oh, his guy is just good. He's just a great. And, Why and it, would you want to give the guy a cancer like that? I know. Well, because I'm a Giant fan, and I and I realize how consistent and great of a receiver. You realize that he had this was not known. He had COVID nineteen. He lost. He lost going into this year nineteen pounds because of it. Okay. Did he Did he miss a game because of it? No, he didn't. Uh, he ha, he had. Don't say that early. too loud. He'll probably get fined. I know, but but he had it earlier in the season. Uh, bef- you know, when when preseason was on, but still. Uh, he lost 19 pounds right before the regular start of the season, and then he was—he didn't have COVID when he played. But for an NFL player, like a receiver especially, to lose 19 pounds and go out there and play the way he played, I mean, that—that's to me. That's, well, that's you know, in in all parts of life, there's yeah. there's doers and there's fakers. Yeah. He's not a faker. There's a lot of fakers. Yeah. He's yeah. not one of them. And another thing I want to point out, Odell Beckham. I talked about this yesterday. Came out that's with a faker. Came he came out with a book saying he didn't have a problem with book. anything. But he, the problem he had with the Giants is they weren't putting enough people around Phil Sims, and what I pointed out numerous Phil times, uh, pardon me, uh, uh, Eli Manning. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, um, what I pointed out after I read that article and I talked about it on the air, the New York, New York Giants, when he when they traded him and left him, they won the same amount of games as they won he, when he when he was there for two years in a row. Uh, and now the Giants are are better off without him, and they're five and seven, and their coach has got them building for the future. Look at Cleveland. Since Odell Beckham was injured and not playing, what mm-hmm. what has happened with Cleveland? He's a legend in his own mind. He's, he 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 is the ultimate cancer. Cleveland. He he, he, he yeah. has all the talent in the world. Yeah. Uh, there's an old saying: you, you have a million dollar arm and a ten cent brain. Yeah. Well, he he's got a million dollar body and a penny brain. Yeah, so uh, we'll go we'll go less than a dime. And, and if so, we can go less than a penny, we we do that. Yeah, and Cleveland has been outstanding without him in the lineup, outstanding. Yep. So that just oh, so you could guess that he's not going to be on Cleveland much longer. Well, you would if they, if they can dump that contract. If they can dump that contract, I think you like P.T. Barnum said, "There's a sucker born every minute." So that's that, that's something that uh, nobody's really talked about. Okay, uh, is there any racing this weekend at all? Yeah, Gulfstream has a couple of stakes this weekend. Um, the sixth race, uh, it's one of the sprints they have. They have a couple hundred thousand dollar sprints down there. Uh, let me just get to that. The name of the race, I think, is the, the Sugar Swirl. Yeah, that's it. The Sugar Swirl. Six horses line up here. Um, the five-horse Cinderbury coming from Parks. Park shippers have been running real big everywhere else. And being that this horse is trained by Brad Cox and has two two bullet works in a row, one at Churchill and one at Palm Meadows, bodes well for this horse. Um, she'll get out in front, try to wire the field, and very well could do so. Um, the one horse sound machine is a horse that's going to sit off the pace and try to make a little bit of a move. Um, this horse has four starts at Culp Stream with two wins in two seconds. He's two for two. So the James brothers, known as the Ortiz brothers, 
have a good chance to run one two and what would be a very deflated exacta because of this two of them. Good story I got for you. A couple weeks ago, um, Ortiz went out west to ride at uh, Del Mar closing weekend, and they were betting him if he was sitting on one of the police horses, the wooden ones. Yeah. They were even betting him if he was sitting on that. <clears throat> they made him a very inf- deflated one to five on a horse, which made my head scratch. So I just bet a horse I thought had a shot, didn't even see the odds, and I beat him at 45 to one. So thank you, Ortiz. I, I want to send you a, a box of uh, flowers for that. So one five five one in the sixth. In the eighth race is the My Charmer, mile in the 16th on the turf. A couple horses in here that look pretty good. One is the three, our baby Ruth. Hasn't run since September, but ran a big race at, at Kentucky Downs. Um, horses from Kentucky Downs are running very big everywhere they're going, both Keeneland and Kentucky Downs. So the three is a use, and Cy has won six races last weekend, last Saturday at, uh, at Gulfstream. So um, he's a go-to rider. So far he's only riding on the weekends. Uh, the five lady lawyer, Chad Brown, another Keeneland, Kentucky down shipper. Um, show speed at Keeneland, came from off the per- pace at Kentucky Downs. Uh, so this horse is very versatile. And uh, my top play in here is going to be the six horse, Medita, trained by Armand Delacour. Uh, this horse is coming from Kentucky Downs. Um, after that, ran at Presque Isle on the poly track. Definitely didn't like the track, was bet down that day. Um, so just that race is just a toss. I expect this horse to run pretty decent tomorrow. So. Three, five, six in the eighth race. And then the tenth race is their bigger race of the day. It's the grade two Fort Lauderdale, mile and an eighth on the turf. Um, to me, this looks like a two horse speed race. Uh, the two horses outside factor this and Holiday. And uh, I give uh, Holiday the choice here over the, over the nine. So it's nine, ten, ten, nine. Holiday the ten, the choice. Uh, this horse is a perfect three for three over Gulfstream Park. So um, you don't need more than that to convince me. So 10, 9, 9, 10 in the 10th race with the 10 to win. Uh, so those are the couple of races we got this weekend down south. All right, Mike. We'll check with you on Monday. You got it. Have a good day. Take care. Mike Cosby with a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.